No one knows what it's like to be the bat, man. They've been associated with bad omens, rabies, and vampires for centuries, and ever since Twilight, that's no longer cool. Bats are often considered dangerous and scary, but in reality, we have less to fear from bats than bats have from humans, especially if that human's Ozzy Osbourne. To celebrate Halloween, we decided to bust some myths about the sky's spookiest creature and to explain to you why you shouldn't be scared of bats. They basically have superpowers. Maybe telling you the scary black thing in the sky is superpowers is not the best argument not to fear them, but you gotta admit, bats have some pretty nifty tricks up their sleeves. Or wings. Bats are as good as blind, and they see using echolocation, emitting extremely high-pitched calls and waiting for the sound to bounce off nearby objects. When it might sound like guesswork, bats are extremely precise at this, making them extremely good hunters. This makes them equally as cool as Charlie Cox as Daredevil, and about a million times cooler than Ben Affleck as Daredevil. It's also called biological sonar, and in fact actually inspired the first sonar to be developed by man, allowing submarines and airplanes to see beyond their human capabilities. Talk about the blind leading the blind, huh? Only a few bats actually feed on blood. There is some truth to the idea that bats want to suck your blood, but in reality, less than 0.25% of all bat species actually use blood as sustenance. Out of 1,200 species of bats, only three in Central and South America feed on blood. The common vampire bat, the hairy-legged vampire bat, and the white-winged vampire bat. It's not all good news though. While the hairy-legged vampire bat and the white-winged vampire bat primarily feed on birds, the common vampire bat prefers mammals, and it has been known to go for humans if it's desperate. The smallest bat weighs just two grams. How can you be so scared of something so small and adorable? The bumblebee bat, or Kitty's hawk-nosed bat, can be found in select areas in Thailand and Burma, and is rated vulnerable. It could very well be the smallest mammal on the planet, but its elusive nature, habitat, and low numbers make it hard to research a little creature. It's also rarely active. It only leaves its limestone caves for 30 minutes in the evening and 20 minutes at dawn. They give us tequila. Tequila, guys. Tequila. Bats are seriously threatened, as 26 bat species are critically endangered, 51 species are endangered, and 945 are deemed to be vulnerable. If we lose bats, we also lose tequila. That's because bats are to tequila what bees are to honey, pollinating the agave plant from which we derive the alcoholic drink that has inspired so many bad decisions over the centuries. Bats drink the sweet nectar of the agave plant, the flowers of which only open at night and stand at 15 feet high. The bats get dusted with the pollen as they drink, which they then transport from plant to plant, ensuring the survival of the agave and, in turn, of tequila. They're not riddled with rabies. One of those common warnings about bats is that they can give you rabies, and they should never pick up a wounded bat as they might bite and then send you to the hospital foaming at the mouth. In reality, less than 1% of bats actually have rabies, and you're just as likely to get it from other animals, such as dogs. However, we still don't recommend you pick up a bat you see lying on the ground. Bats that are infected with rabies will be disoriented and unable to fly. So, while many of the myths and legends surrounding bats have some truth to them, they're wildly exaggerated and you really have nothing to fear from them. If you want more info about how animals have inspired technology, or how they help you get wasted on your night out, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.